in our exercise 11.2 we are ready to discuss about the first problem okay is the first one now the first one in a first bit and first one this is exercise number 11.2 Okay, so 11.2 in the first one. Evaluate the following. So what we are trying to evaluate? First of all, first question in that sine 45, sine 45 degrees plus cos 45, 45 degrees. So in the sine and cos 45 degrees, first of all, uh, we need to just write the sine 45 value. What is the sine 45 value? So 1 by root 2. Sine 45 is a 1 by root 2 plus cos 45 is also 1 by root 2. Okay. So 1 by root 2 plus 1 by root 2. How much it will be? 1 plus 1 by root 2. It is taking as a 2 by root 2. So 2 by root 2 is there now. First of all, we need to simplify this equation. 2 by root 2. I am going to multiply with root 2 by again divide with the root 2. So nothing will change. So now 2 root 2. So above is a 2 root 2. So below is a root 2. Root 2 means root 2 whole square. The square and root will cancel. Then 2 root 2 by 2. So it should be 2 is a gets cancelled. Then answer is root 2. So this is the answer for first one. So in the second one now, we'll go for the second one. Second. So what is the second question? Second question. Cos 45. Cos 45 degrees divided by sec 30 plus cos 60. Cos 60 degrees. This is a line. Okay. Now cos 45. How much it will be? Cos 45. We already know that. That is the one by root 2 divided by so sec 30 means how much 2 by root 3 so plus cosec 60 okay it is also 2 by root 3 okay na so now again i write 1 by root 2 divided by So what is that? Four by root three. So total directly we can write it. There is a two plus two is a four. Four by root three. So if I write it like this, so one by root two. If it will go up, then root three by four. Okay. So that's why. So simply we can write that uh, answer is root three by. Four root two. This is answer. Okay. This is the second one. Go for the third one. Third problem. So third. In first bit only. This is third one now. So third one. Sine thirty. Sine thirty degrees plus tan forty five. 45 degrees minus cosec 60, 60 degrees. Divided by cot 45 plus cot 60 minus sec 30. 
so if you know that all of this tan cos cos x sec all values if you know you will easy to do them so sin 30 how much is 1 by 2 plus tan 45 how much is 1 so cos x 60 means minus 2 by root 3 divided by so we have got 45 is also 1 plus cos 60 means how much 1 by 2 minus 2 by root 3 ok now nah? so if you simplify this one this is also 1 you can take this is also 1 you can take divided by so take a LCM so how to do this one first you can do this two so these two you can do it what is that cross product so two ones are two one plus one into one one two ones are two divided by two minus two by root three here the divided by so same now this these are the two values you can just simplify first so 2 plus 1 by 2 minus 2 by root 3 okay so now comes to the 3 by 2 minus 2 by root 3 divided by so 3 by 2 minus 2 by root 3 okay so if you simplify that so these whole values will cancel this whole values will cancel ultimately that is the answer is 1 so that's all okay the answer is 1 only so comes to the next question uh, fourth question in that in that bit fourth question fourth question 2 tan square 45 2 tan square 45 degrees plus cos square 30 degrees minus sin square 60 degrees ok so in that first we can write it 2 of tan square means so tan 45 means how much 1 1 square plus cos 30 means how much root 3 by 2 whole square minus sin 60 means root 3 by 2 whole square then 2 into 1 square means 1 2 plus 3 square 3 square means uh, square root cancel is it 3 by 4 minus 3 by 4 correct or not so plus 3 by 4 minus 3 by 4 is this cancer what is the answer 2 is the answer so this is the fourth one go for the fifth one so fifth one in the uh, 6 square 16 minus tan square 60 degrees divided by sin square 30 degrees plus cos square 30 degrees ok so now 6 square 30 means 6, uh, 60 sorry 6 square 60 means 6 60 how much is a 2 2 square minus so tan 60 means root 3 root 3 square divided by so sin 30 means 1 by 2 whole square plus root 3 by 2 cos, is, cos 30 means root 3 by 2 this is a whole square now this 2 square means 4 minus so square roots cancel now then this is a 3 so 1 by 4 plus 3 by 4 how much it will be 4 minus 3 1 
divided by 3 plus 1 how much? 4. 4 by 4. It gets cancelled. Then 1 by 1 means what is answer? 1 only. So that is a simple answer. We got it. Okay. So then next we go for the next question. So next the second question now. The second question. In the second question. Second question. First one. What is the second question? First one in that. Choose the right option and justify your choice. So they, you just first of all you can choose the. So, uh, right choice and just an answer means first of all I will write the question here. 2 tan 30 degrees by 1 plus tan square 45 degrees. Okay. A option is A. For example, option is A. A is A. Sin 60. B option is cos 60. So C option is tan 30. D option is sin 30. Right. First of all, you can evaluate this equation first. So, 2 of this equation, tan 30 means how much? So, 1 by root 3 by, so 1 plus tan square 45 means 1 square. So, we can evaluate 2 by root 3 divided by 1 plus 1, 2. Okay, if you go for that, so 2 by root 3 into 1 by 2. 2 into this gets cancelled. What is that? 1 by root 3. So what is a 1 by root 3? 1 by root 3 means that is a tan 30 value. So it is a tan 30 value. So this is a tan 30 is the answer. Okay now. So next we will go for the next question. In that second bit, second one. 1 minus tan square. 1 minus tan square. 45. Degrees. This is a degree sum. So divided by 1 plus. tan square 45 degrees ok now I can write it there is a 1 minus what is a tan square 45 means 1 square 1 plus tan square 45 again 1 square 1 minus 1 by 1 plus 1 how much it will be 0 by 2 means 0 what is that 0. Now, is it answer which is answer is? This is 0 only. Answer is 0. Okay now. Then we will go for the third question. In the second bit, third one. Okay. So, 2 tan 30. 2 tan 30 degrees by 1 minus tan square 30 degrees okay na? so now you evaluate this one and choose which is the correct answer in that so 2 of tan 30 means what is that 1 by root 3 divided by 1 minus tan square 30 means how much 1 by root 3 whole square now the 2 into 2 divided by root 3 divided by how much 1 minus 1 by root 3 square means 3 because square root cancel 3. So take LCM. You just do it. 
सो टू बाय रूट थ्री डिवाइडेड बाय थ्री माइनस वन डायरेक्ट वेट थ्री माइनस वन बाय थ्री इन दिस टू बाय रूट थ्री सो थ्री माइनस वन टू थ्री माइनस वन टू टू बाय थ्री इफ इट विल राइट दैट इज ए अप टू बाय रूट थ्री इन टू थ्री बाय टू सो टू इट्स गेट्स कैंसल एंड थ्री बाय रूट थ्री ओके ना सो थ्री बाय रूट थ्री थ्री बाय रूट थ्री मीन्स हाउ वील गेट इट द्री बाय रूट थ्री सो थ्री बाय रूट थ्री जस्ट वेट वन मिनिट We'll get it that. For simplification, now I'll do here. You can see this here. This uh, rationalization method you can do it. Now. How to do that? You can multiply. So three by root three is there, na? Into root three by root three. I want to remove that remove root three value. You see that? It will three root three by three because. Root three into root three, root three square. Square means square root will get cancelled. So then answer is root three. Answer is root three means which is the answer for that? There is a tan sixty degrees. Okay na? So this is the um, next one. Now in the third question now. So in the third question now. What is that? Evaluate sine 60 degrees uh, cos c cos uh, 30 degrees uh, plus sine 30. Just I write the question. Sine 60 degrees. Sine 60 degrees plus sorry cos 30 degrees plus sine 30. Okay, cos 60 degrees. So we can evaluate this equation. A value of sine 60 plus 30. So formula already there. That is a sine a plus b is equals to sine a sine a cos b plus cos a sine b. Okay na, so this is already formula is there. That's why you can just write that is a. So in this evaluation of this formula, now first of all, uh, these all values you can substitute here. Sine 60 means root 3 by 2. So into cos 30 means what? Cos 30 means how much? So root 3 by 2 again it is also. Okay. Plus sine thirty how much one by two into one by two okay so directly I am write that root three into root three root three square and means there is a three by four plus one by four now how much is a four by four now how much it will be one okay sine sixty plus forty. Sorry, sixty plus thirty. How much it will be? Sine ninety. Sine ninety. How much? One. That's why LHS is equals to RHS. Okay, LHS is equals to RHS. So this is the third problem. Now go for the fourth problem. Put the problem. So, is it right to say that there is a cos 60 degrees plus 30 degrees? Cos 60 plus 30 is equals to cos 60 cos 30 minus sine 60 sine 30. Okay, now we'll write it. Okay, na. So, what is it? LHS is equals to just I will write LHS is equals to cos 60 plus 30. 60 degrees plus 30 degrees. 
So RHS is equals to how much? RHS is equals to cos 16, cos 30, okay, minus sin 16, sin 30, okay. So cos 16 means what is that? 1 by 2. Cos 30 means root 3 by 2. Minus sin 16 means root 3 by 2. Sin 30 means 1 by 2. How much it will be? Is a root 3 by 4. Minus root 3 by 4. Then how it will be? Answer 0. Okay now. So in that answer is uh, 0. Now in this. Now RH, LH, RHS got it. LHS now. LHS side. Cos 60 plus 30. How much it will be? Cos 90. Cos 90 how much? 0. Therefore LHS is equals to. RHS. Okay. So this is the fourth question now. And uh, fifth question. Okay. Now uh, is the fifth question now. In a right angle triangle. Fifth question. In a right angle triangle. Triangle PQR. Right angle is at Q and uh, PQ is equal to 6 centimeters. Okay, now and uh, angle RPQ is equal to 60 degrees. Determine the lengths of QR and PR. So, first of all, you can draw one triangle for that. So, I am drawing the triangle. In the triangle, what is that? PQR. P, Q, R. So, in that Q is a 90. So, here it is a, what is that? 6 centimeters is it? this P, Q value. Angle is a 60. How much? 60 degrees. Now, what they ask the question in that? You can find out the lens of Q, R. So, this is QR and next one, so PR, is it right? Yes, you can find out these two values. So, if you know this one, tan 30, tan 60 degrees is equals to, so tan 60 degrees is equals to, home. what is that? Opposite by adjacent formula. Opposite what? This is the opposite. Means PQ by adjacent means QP or so PQ, what I mean. QP. So tan 60. So tan 60 means how much it will be in root 3. So root 3 is equals to PQ means how much directly as it is you can write PQ. And QP, QP means 6. Is it right? So now that is a PQ is equals to 6 root 3. What is that? 6 root 3. So then we got that is a PQ. And now we we'll go for the calculation of the PR. Then how to do that? Sin 60 you can do. Sin 60 degrees is equals to, so this is a opposite by hypotenuse. So sin 60 means root 3 by 2. So opposite by hypotenuse, no? Opposite by hypotenuse means opposite what? So we already, we already got that 6 root 3. This is a 6 root 3. We got 6 root 3 by hypotenuse means PR. So then you can calculate it now. Root 3, root 3 gets cancelled. And uh, now 
PR is equals to. So PR is equals to. Now what is that? Six into two. Twelve centimeters. What is the answer for that? So this is a twelve centimeters. So this is the answer. Okay now. So this is the uh, fifth answer. Now we go for the sixth answer. Sixth one. Okay. In a triangle X Y Z, right angle is at Y. Y Z is equals to X and X Y is equals to two uh, X. Then determine the angle X Y Z and angle Y Z X. So in this we can go for the right angle triangle. I want to write the draw the right angle triangle now. This is the angle, ma. It's not good. So right angle triangle. It is actually straight one. Oh, it came as a somewhat angle, but as a triangle, you can see the triangle. And X Y Z, X Y Z. So angle is like this, and this is X. This is a two X. Okay, na. By using of a Pythagoras theorem, you know that X Z whole square is equal to Pythagoras theorem. You know, X Z whole square is equal to. So in an okay. Uh, X Y square plus Y Z square. So say to me X Z square means two X whole square. This equals to X Y means X square. Then Y Z they not given Y Z as it is you can write it. So four X square is equals to X square plus Y Z whole square. Tell me that that is a. So it will comes to this sign. Four X square minus X square is equals to Y Z whole square. In that three X square is equals to Y Z whole square. So Y Z is equals to. So what is that? Root three into x. What is the value? Root three into x. Okay. Now we will find out the answer here. I am writing. Okay. Tan x is equals to. Tan x is equals to. What is that? Tan x is equals to. A y z by. Y Z by X Y is it right? So then once you see that tan X is equals to so here what is the root three X by X so X X will get cancelled root three so root three means tan X is equals to root three means this is tan X so X X is equals to what is that? Actually, tan X is equals to here. Tan X is equals to tan 60. Is it right or not? Root 3 is 60. So X is equals to how much? 60 degrees. Got it now? X value. Then comes to the Y value now. Y value. So now. Uh, now we got that X value is the 16 means what? Y Z X is here. I write it. Y Z X is equals to 60 degrees. We got one answer. In the next one, if you go for the yes, uh, next one is a tan Z is equals to one minute. Tan Z is equals to here. I write it in the next page. So tan Z is equals to what is that? One by x y by 
ओके एक्स वाई बाय वाई सेड इसे ट्राइट वंस यू सी दैट दैट इज़ ए प्रीवियस वन सो एक्स वाई बाय वाई सेड ओके So y z by sorry x y by y z. So in that x y by y z, then what is that x y value? Is it x only? The y z value is root three into x. X x will cancel. Then tan z is equals to one by root three. One by root three means what? Tan z is equals to One by root three means tan thirty. Then z is equals to how much? Thirty degrees. So then, so y z x is equals to thirty degrees. So here there is a angle y x z is equals to sixty. Next one. Angle y z x is equals to 30 degrees. We got these two answers. Okay, now we we'll go for the second, uh, sorry, seventh one. Now the seventh question. Now is it uh, right to say that there is a sine a plus b? What is the question? Sine a plus b. Sin a plus b is equals to sin a plus sin b. Is it right? Once we justify the answer, means yes. So let us let us a is equals to 30. Yeah, which you can take any number. This that too is angle. So b is equals to 60. Okay, better to use a zero thirty sixty. Sorry, zero thirty forty five sixty ninety. In this only you can take any angle. Then LHS. What is the LHS? So sine a plus b. A plus b means what? Thirty plus sixty. How much am I? So now here I write it. Sine ninety. This is a one. We know. Yes, R H S now. So R H S side is sine A. A means sine thirty degrees plus sine sixty degrees. Now you say to me, sine thirty means what? One by two plus sine sixty means root three by two. So if you do the cross product. Two plus root two uh, root three by four. Then if you take the two common, one plus root three by four. Two ones are two twos are. Then answer is one plus root three by two. This is a RHS. Is it right RHS? So LHS is one. R H S is one plus root three by two. That's fine. L H S is not equals to R H S. It is not justified or it is not suitable. Okay, the answer is not correct. What they given as it answer is wrong. Okay now, so this is the exercise number two.